Till that student in class 10 who is thinking every time you study mathematics that why am I even studying this? I don't want to use this in my life. If that's who you are, then stick around to watch this entire video. Hey there, Joel here and welcome to my channel Math World. Today I'm not going to teach anything to you but we are going to see what changes Goa Board has done to help those students who don't want to pursue mathematics after their 10th standard okay so there was a meeting that was held with the board members uh, probably not now but in month of February on the 24th okay and they have decided to take the entire mathematics chapter and categorize it in two levels which will be called as level 1 and level 2 and this information was published on the newspaper Times of India on the 28th of February okay so what is happening in this level 1 and level 2 now Imagine this in a class of okay of uh, 40 50 students there will be a few who have already decided what exactly they want to do in their life that means what career path to choose now say for example there is one student who is thinking of becoming an engineer okay for him math is a compulsory subject so in this case based on his career option he will choose either level 1 or level 2 now I'll tell you what is the difference between level 1 and level 2 in course of this video okay there can be another student who has already taken a career path and thinking of becoming maybe a chef so for him math is not a compulsory subject so in this case, again he has an option to choose level 1 or level 2 mathematics paper. Now, with regards to this, level 1 mathematics is more of an advanced level. Level 2 is more of a simpler level. Okay, So the one who is thinking of becoming an engineer will have to choose level 1 as, you know, the mathematics paper and those who are intending that immediately after 10th standard your 11th standard you know you are not choosing science as your stream then you can opt for you know level 2 now you will be wondering why all this change all of a sudden that's only because there are times you know when students are good in all the six subjects but when it comes to math their percentage drops down only because they're not good at it they know that they don't want to take math as their career option but they don't have any you know exception or they don't have any uh, option to do something else when it comes to this so they have to flow with it and that's when they lose a lot of marks in this case so that is why this option of having level one and level two you know advanced and easy this will solve that problem for those students secondly it is it will reduce that burden of you know learning so much in mathematics when you know that you know that's not the career path you're choosing so those intending to take science as the career of uh, study at in 11th standard they need to choose level one as the option okay and the ones who are not intending to take science can take level 2 now there can be a number of questions that will run into your mind when you listen to all this then what if I want to take maybe commerce so in this case I have had a word with a few members who have discussed about this and it seems that even 
if you have, want to take commerce then you will have to choose level one but this information with regards to commerce is not put on the official circular that's come of theirs okay uh, i will link the circular pdf in the description go if you want to check it out you can they only speak about science but uh, as per my understanding uh, the mathematics content that you study in 11 standard for science and even for uh, commerce is almost to the same level so you might want to recheck about this if further circulars come then i will put those links but at present there's no information given about commerce but this is my opinion that commerce if you want to choose then again you will have to choose level one so what's different in this level one and level two what, what is changing a simple example to give on this would be uh, say you are studying something about apples okay now I can simply ask you the color of apple is dash then you will say it's red there can be also another question where it is asked to you why is the color of apple red now here we are talking the content is about apple but the kind of question that is asked is different so this is what will change when you choose level 1 and level 2 the content will be the same but it will only change with respect to the type of question that the setting of the paper will change okay so the mark variation all these for a certain topic will change based on whether it is level 1 or level 2 another question that can come into your mind is I have not chosen any career path till now which is technically not right you have to think about it but maybe you have not thought about it and as of now you think that you know uh, science uh, is not my option and you choose level 2 but later on you decide that after your 10th standard is over you feel like you know, I want to get into science so now to get into science you will not be entitled because you have already chosen level 2 as an option right so in this case what will happen is you will have to take again permission from the school to the board and you will have to answer that paper again as a supplementary exam for level 1 so a permission needs to be taken to change that you know the field there will be probably some students who are also deciding that okay I will take level 1 and God forbid they fail in in the 10th standard you know in math only so they have taken level 1 that is the advanced level you know thinking they will take science but they did not score well and they failed so they have to answer a supplementary exam to clear that paper now is it possible that they can opt for level 2 now yes it is possible again you will have to take a written permission to the school to the board and then you can answer the supplementary exam in level 2 that will be the easier one okay now many of the students might think uh, you know, that I will choose level 2 be safe and don't have to worry about anything else but I'll tell you from my experience you know content of 10th standard in math is not difficult provided you give that much of time to study and you practice written and not reading math so if this two things are sorted from your side then you know level one level two okay it's it's that way also if you are planning to you know score in level one that is the advanced level and score 80 on 80 okay then you have to really work for it 
but if your you know option is maybe to score in 70s or 60s then as per my understanding as per you know how i have seen students study it's not difficult but the choice is yours it's nothing that you know we can force you to take level 1 or level 2 it is not that way you have the option to you know decide so think about what is your career option and then you can take a decision for yourself i'll link all the circulars in the description you can take a look they are there on um, the goa board website as well you can check it from there uh, but they are in a place you know it becomes a little difficult to just go and find them out so what i will do is i have downloaded the circulars already so i will upload it with a link so that you can you know the moment you click you can download them so that will be an easy option but the exact circular is there on the go about website i hope you like this video if you did then please don't forget to hit the like button share the video with your friends tell them as well if they want to choose level 1 or level 2 as a paper for the tension examination it's really going to help them and one more thing this whatever information that's put up in this video is for the academic year 2020 21 okay if it's going to change then probably i don't know when you will watch this video uh, if you are the one who is watching it years later then there might be a change so this is for the academic year 2020 to 21 right now secondly a very important thing that i want to put across for this year students is that chapters like uh, you know some applications of trigonometry real numbers circles areas related to circle and surface area and volumes these chapters are omitted for this year okay only there there are videos of mine with regards to some applications of trigonometry so for now you can just escape them because you are not if you are student who is going to answer this exam this year then you don't have that chapter in your math paper okay so if you want to recap which lessons then slightly you know 10 second rewind and then you can check them out i will put this link of the pdf also in the description box you can go and head and check them with regards to what will be the content for you know level 1 and level 2 i have sample question papers uh, we will put up a video you know solving those papers and giving an idea but it might so happen that you know the entire content is not taught to you so you don't know what is going on and all of that sort so once i have a clear cut portion for level 1 and level 2 what kind of questions and this and that uh, i will again put that information up okay on this channel because the purpose of this channel is it should help you out okay so again if you did like the video then hit the like button share the video with your friends and subscribe to the channel till then this is joel saying bye to you take care and bye bye